What's up guys, I am back on YouTube and I'm going to be doing some different types of series now. So, in the past I've done mechanical videos, that's probably what you know me for, that's probably why you're subscribed and if you're not, make sure you subscribe. Um, but, we're going to be focusing on how to practice mechanics now. So I'm going to be going through and doing a series of different types of training packs based on mechanics or skills that you should know. So for example, today we're going to be focusing on dribbling. We're going to talk about dribbling and flicking and what a good training pack is for that. Next time I'll do power shots, right? That's a very, very important part of Rocket League is being able to put powerful shots on targets. Um, and then you can also expect some things like aerials, double taps, air dribbles, flip resets, backboard clears, reading your own backboard, reading your opponent's backboard, right? All of these really, really important skills and then some good training packs that go along with them. And you can think of them as a progression, right? So uh, when you see this video, hey, start working on dribbling if it applies to you. And then keep working on that until the next video. And when the next video comes out, swap over the next thing. But I'll be doing those kind of bi-weekly is the goal. And then I'll be doing some other series like uh, more focused on the conceptual side of the game. So looking at some replays or showing you some gameplay of me and talking through my thought process. Uh, but that's what you can expect from me in the future. So for today, let's focus on some dribbling. Let's focus on how we practice it. And let's get into it. Okay, so if you're looking to practice dribbling, you're obviously going to need the training pack code. So here it is on the screen. My lovely editor will zoom in on this. And it will also be in the description below so that you can copy and paste it if you are on PC. Um, but pretty much this is dribble training. We're going to go through eight shots. This is a training pack made by Verge. Shout out to him. Very well-known coach. Very great guy. Um, and I will walk you through uh, the approach on each shot. And then we're also going to look at some examples of how to apply this dribbling through some professional gameplay afterwards. So now that we are in this training pack, we're going to go through these eight shots. I'm going to walk you through step by step um, how to complete them and kind of the purpose behind them too. Because that's a huge thing is um, understanding how to apply the flick and the dribbling right because it's one thing to learn mechanics another thing to apply and that's something that i'll want you guys to pay attention to as i go through this series is making sure that you're looking at okay how do i practice the mechanic but also situations where i can apply it which i'll show you at the end of the video so looking at this first one right we're saying the ball is coming down and anytime the ball is coming down towards you which is going to happen a lot in your games you're going to want to watch the circle in order to catch the ball and if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say like circle and catching the ball, uh, go to the video that will be linked in the description. It will also be at the top right um, because that is where I teach you how to dribble and how to use the circle to dribble. But in case you need just a little bit of a refresher, right, we're going to look at the circle. You're going to see that it bounces and my car is going to go inside the circle. And if I keep my car inside the circle, I'm going to be able to control the ball. So if I go to the right of the circle, I'll kind of start to move left. And the goal initially is when we're learning how to dribble, all we care about is, is holding onto the ball for long periods of time, right? So all I'm doing is just dribbling it into the net, just like that. But let's take it a step further now, right? Because in a real game, you're not really just going to dribble it in, right? You're going to have to catch it and then flick. So same thing again, right? We're going to catch it and we're going to turn our ball cam off, have our back wheels in, and we're going to make our way towards the net. Now, if you need to, you'll flick earlier, right? Because you're not going to get all the space usually, but... Assuming we have the space, right, we're going to let our back wheels leave the circle and then we're going to front flip, right? And that's how we apply a flick into the situation. So you catch it, you control it, you drive towards the net, you flick. Moving on to shot number two, in a lot of situations, you're not actually going to be able to just dribble it straight towards the net, right? That's not realistic. So now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to apply that turning technique um, that I was mentioning earlier. And again, if you need that, go to the link video and make sure that you watch that on how to dribble and how to turn how to catch stuff like that and then you can apply that here so we're going to drive towards it and the same thing we're going to catch it turn our ball cam off and we're going to move to the right of the circle to turn in and then we either dribble it in or we flick right and again flick back wheels outside the circle front flip diagonal flip right whatever type of flick that you want to learn um, but i would start out just doing front flips and diagonal flips Similar to the last shot, again, turning. That's what we're practicing here. That's the point of this. So make sure that when you catch it, right, you try to turn immediately towards the net and then try to get your flick off quickly. And we're kind of making this more and more complicated as we go so that we get more practice to what will be realistic in a game where you're not going to catch it facing the net and you're going to have to get your flick off quickly. So let's do that on this attempt. I'm going to let it bounce. I'm going to catch it, immediately turn towards the net. And then after that, I'm going to get my back wheels outside and I'm going to front flip let's be honest in a rocket league game you're not going to have the ball just fall into your lap right we're going to in most situations have to catch it from an awkward angle or have an opponent challenging us and have kind of some pressure so now we're going to start to apply that pressure in this training pack where we have three seconds right so we can't let the ball touch the ground and we need to put an opposite force into the ball 
right? This is a physics-based game. If we just put ourselves underneath the ball and let it hit us, it's just going to bounce and keep going in the same direction that it's initially going. So we have to put an opposite force in to be able to go towards the opposing net. So as I drive forward, you're going to see that I'm going to use the front of my car, and that's going to stop the ball completely. And now that I've done that, I can apply the same thing that I was doing earlier, and then I can flick. Now here I kind of did a more advanced flick. You can do a diagonal flip, front flip, 45 degree angle flick, whatever you want, up to you. Now we're adding more complications, obviously. So earlier we did catching and then just turning. And then the shot after that was catching with the ball coming towards us, which was the shot we just did. Um, so now the ball is going in a direction instead of just falling to our lap and we have to turn and we have three seconds so we can't let it hit the ground right so this is even more realistic to an actual game where you're going to have to catch the ball from an awkward angle immediately try and turn towards the net or whatever direction you're going towards and then use your flick so let's do that we're going to drive we're going to boost a little bit and we're going to use the side of our car to catch it and make our turn you'll see i'm turning i'm turning i'm turning and i'm flicking so here I'm going to do it again with slow motion, so I'm actually going to use Bacchus Mod and I put it on a 0.51, doesn't really matter, just slow it down a little bit if you have Box Mod. Otherwise, you also have this feature in training where you can kind of change the game speed. Not exactly sure what the combination of Box Mod and this would do, maybe I'll try that out later. But for now I'm using Box Mod, it ends up being the exact same thing. And this is going to allow us to do the shot slower so you can see what I'm doing in slow motion. So. Same thing again, right? We're going to boost to get some speed. And here we don't want to stop the momentum of the ball. We just want to catch it and kind of go with it. So you see I use the side of my car and I stay in the middle of that circle, you can see. And then I'll be able to start turning by staying on the left side. And then as we make our way towards the net, I'll turn my ball cam off, right? That's better, better habit. And I'm going to let my back wheels leave the circle and then I'm going to diagonal flip. Barely scored that one, but hey, a goal's a goal. Let's keep going. All right, so I'm going to do it in full speed, and then I'll do it in slow-mo again, right, because these are getting pretty complicated. So we did some practice with turning and catching from an awkward angle. Now we're going to do the same thing, but in even more extreme situations. So in a lot of games, someone might boom the ball towards you or boom it back towards your half. And let's say you're on zero seconds, you can't let it hit the ground. Um, now, if you want, in an actual game where you're not at zero seconds, you can obviously let the ball bounce. Um, but... If you're not able to let it bounce, which is the whole point of this, we're trying to practice not letting it bounce, we have to stop the momentum of the ball. I'm always going to use that term of stopping momentum of the ball or controlling the momentum of the ball. That is huge in Rocket League, right? Controlling the ball. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the back of my car to stop the ball. Now, I'm not going to stop the ball completely, otherwise it'll hit the ground. I'm just going to kind of use the top back of my car, as you'll see in a second. And that is going to stop the momentum slightly so that it doesn't just fly into my net and then I can catch it. So I'm going to boost and you're going to see it hits the back of my car. And then from there I can brake and then get my back wheels inside the circle, turn. And then after that, get my flick off. And let's do it in slow motion, obviously, so you can see this slow down and still explained. So again, we've slowed it down. I've put it on 497 this time. Doesn't matter, like I said. So we're going to use the back of our car in order to slow this ball down. So you're going to see I'm going to boost, and I'm going to slow down a little bit to let it catch up to me. Let it hit the back of my car, and then I'm going to let it hit the top of my car and the side so that I turn. Turn my ball cam off, move to the side or to the left of the circle in this case so I can start to turn. Back wheels inside so I don't speed up. Just maintain my current speed. Then I'll angle myself towards the net like so. And then from here you can do whatever type of flick your, your heart desires right? as you get close. I'll just do a little side flip. And there we go. Now obviously practice diagonal flip, front flip. That's your most reliable tools. More turning practice. right? That's really, really important. Knowing how to turn and dribble the ball super important. So stop that momentum. Maintain our momentum towards the net as we're turning. And then get a flick off. So you're going to see I'm going to boost. Let it hit the back of my car. And then I'm going to use the left side of my car to be on the left side of the ball. And then after that, get my flick. Let's do it in slow motion. Okay. Again, control the momentum of the ball. I'm going to let it hit the back of my car. That'll slow it down slightly. And then I'll kind of move to the side of the ball. Then I could even let it bounce off the wall. Um, depending on how you catch it, you might not need to. And then back wheels inside. And then make our way slowly towards the net, right? Maintaining with our back wheels inside like so then as we get closer let my back wheels leave and then we can get a flick and i'll have to double that one in i saw i, I was gonna hit the 
the crossbar, so I had to boost to catch up to it. But hopefully your flick goes directly in the net, and you don't have to overcomplicate it like I did. So now we are on the last shot, and this is my favorite one, because in a lot of games, people are going to hit the ball up to you or in your general direction, and it's important to be able to catch it and then get a flick or a shot off. Um, so before we look at some examples of these being applied, let's finish this one up. So in terms of approach, right, the other ones that we did earlier were you need to stop the momentum of the ball, you need to turn, and then you got to flick. But here you're already going in the right direction. So because of that, you don't need to settle the ball. You need to just match the speed of the ball so that it just kind of stops on top of your car. And then from there, you can get your flick off. So you're going to see here, I'm going to boost to match the speed of the ball. Then I'm going to let it kind of stop on top of my car. And then I'm going to get my flick off. I'm going to boost, let it kind of settle on top of my car. And then I'll get my flick. All right, and it's pretty fast. So let's do it in slow motion as well. So we got the slow motion here. Same thing again, ball's going in the same direction as us, so we don't need to slow it down. We just boost to match the speed, kind of get it to settle on top of our car, and now we turn towards the net, and then we can do a side flip, a diagonal flip, a front flip, right, whatever you're most comfortable with. But a side flip's always a good option to get that pop. So let's look at some examples here. So in regards to this play, it is one thing to understand how to do the mechanic. It's another thing to be able to apply it. So this is similar to shot one. So if you need, you can go and reference that, what it looked like, where the ball is just kind of bouncing in front of you. You're starting pretty far away. All right, so I'm going to catch the ball. I get a little bit of a bounce here for context. I beat my opponent in the corner, got them to come to me, hit it around them. Now it's bouncing in front of me. So you're going to see it bounce. You're going to see me go underneath the ball, get my back wheels inside towards the back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive towards their net. And as I see my opponent get closer to me, that is my indication mentally to challenge. If you haven't already, I would bind uh, a key bind that uh, it's called swivel down, I believe, which means that it'll look over your car, swivel up or down. Um, so I would check which one of those it is or fact check me on that in the comments. But swivel up or down and it makes you look over the ball and then you can kind of see your opponent. Otherwise, you can kind of watch their name tag. I put my name tags at 200%. That allows me to see better. But um, like I said, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to make my way towards the net. And as I get pretty close, I'm going to wait until they come to challenge me. And then I'm going to use a, I use a 45 degree angle flick here, which is going to throw the ball over them. And then it's going to put it on target. And this is great for 1v1 situations. So let me delete that. Let me run the replay here so you can see it catch it and then here you can kind of see i'm underneath uh inside towards the back zoom it back out here and then i'm going to use that flick it's going to be on target and we're going to get a goal from that and now i'll slow it down and do it from uh, my perspective so you can see that as well okay so now we are back on my perspective um, and what you'll see is i'm low boost right so that adds to the fact that hey you don't really need that much boost in order to dribble and it's a really powerful tool when you don't have much boost because it's doesn't use that many resources and it's still pretty dangerous so what i'm going to actually do here is i'm going to slow the game down a little bit so that we can see this in slow motion so again you're going to see me apply that shot number one where it's going to bounce i'm going to get my back wheels in here and then i'm going to control the ball let him come to me and as i saw him challenge that was my indication hey i can flick and then we get it on target and then that's a goal so now we're actually looking at a more complicated uh, scenario. So this is a mix of the ball coming towards you, right, and having to stop its momentum, and shot number eight, where now if the ball is going in the same direction as you, you just have to match the speed of the ball. So what you're going to see here is my, my teammate in this game, Chicken. He is going to make a touch to stop the momentum of the ball, and that's to pop it over um, our opponent here, the first man. So you're going to see him go and make this first touch it's a soft touch but it is a touch over his opponents and then from there he's going to land and now since the ball is going in the same direction as him and i'll kind of move the camera here you're going to see that he catches it because it's going the same direction as him he just has to match the speed of the ball and i'll zoom it back out once he sees the opponent challenge he does a basic flip and then from here he can shoot and just put it on target. If it was zero seconds, he could try and uh, just catch it and then dribble it in, or he could catch it and flick it again if he wanted to. So now you're going to see this again in slow motion. So again, the ball is coming towards him. So because of that, he has to stop the momentum of the ball. So he's going to do that by making a light touch on it, and then he will just match the speed of the ball after he hits it. It'll kind of go with him, um, and then he just has to match the speed of the ball, and then he can use his flick. So let's take a look uh, at that in action. So he waits, he makes a soft touch, 
very soft using the underside of your car, it's a neat trick. Then match the speed, he sees his opponent challenge, flicks it over. And again, it's not always about flicking it on target, it's about beating your opponent, getting that space, and then you can put it on target. And he does a very good job of that there. Okay, so those were, were two good examples of dribbling, right, that incorporate the stopping momentum, obviously following the, the current momentum as well. Um, and just in general showing you how to catch the ball, how to apply it, right? So using that um, idea of controlling the momentum, right? And then from there, getting your back wheels outside, like so, and then getting your flick off however however that may be, whether uh, a front flip, a diagonal flip, um, a 45, or even a, like a musty or a breezy, whatever you'd like it to be. Um, but with that being said, the next uh, video that I'll be making will be on power shots, so I'll be looking at how to put powerful shots on target um, from different positions through a training pack, and then we'll keep going through some aerials, uh, ground air dribbles, wall air dribbles, like I said earlier, flip resets, control touches, stuff like that, right? So we'll be going through this series and working on that kind of stuff. Um, if you have any questions, obviously join my Discord, uh, linked in the description, uh, and you can ask questions there. You can also ask them in the comments, and I might uh, be able to respond there. Um, and then if you're looking for something one-on-one, -on -one, interactive, replay analysis, uh, you can go over to Medify, which will be linked in my uh, description as well, and schedule a lesson with me that way. Um, but other than that, keep your eyes open for some other content, uh, listening to maybe my comms in a uh, league that I play in, and watching my perspective and some high-level gameplay. Um, and then obviously some more coaching um, tips improvement related types of videos. Um, but thank you for your time guys and have a nice rest of your day.